and welcome back it's another video right so today we're going to be talking about what I've learned being on YouTube for a year it's actually been a year and a half but who's counting right so I hope you guys enjoy this video like comment and subscribe if you're really part of the family welcome back. if you're not like what are you doing subscribe Let's get into it. Hi guys. So we have trusty Mr. Notebook. Also, I have my drink. I'm Zimbabwe, so you know this is my Zoe. Black braid, precise. Guys, it's hot. Like I've not been in Botswana in summer in a long time. Somebody forgot to tell me that it's this hot. Like, it's like three in the afternoon and it feels like it's midday. That's how hot it is. Why? I know we're like 60% desert, but why? <laughs> but anyways, I digress. Today we're going to be talking about what we've learned being on YouTube for a year. I have about 10 tips that we're going to go through and I hope they're going to be useful to you and your friends, you aspiring YouTubers out there, and I hope it helps someone because yeah, some of the stuff I wish I knew, right? The first one is going to be consistency is key, right? Now, when they say consistency is key, I feel like someone made me think that it meant I must put out a video like every other day or something or like every week standard, like it must come. I struggled. Like it was very tricky because I didn't even know that because I was still also going to work full time. And I was like, oh, I have to plan my days and this, this, this. It was very difficult. So consistency was very tricky for me at that point until I found out that consistency means what works for you. It's like a light bulb went off in my head. Consistency means just be consistent with the times you upload. So if you're going to do every two days, do every two days. If you're going to do every week, do every week. If you're going to do twice a month or once a month, then do that. Just be consistent. Because people want to see your content. They don't want to see it today, tomorrow, and then silence for like a week. And then again, you come back. Mm, it just looks very erratic. And some people then drop off, right? Sometimes YouTubers say you should post a lot, a lot, a lot at the beginning so that people get used to seeing you. Sometimes, yes, that's going to help your subscriber count possibly and your viewership. But it may likely cause you burnout. At least for me, it, it was just not working so i decided that my consistency would be i would post every weekend so that meant either a friday or a saturday afternoon and i just had to pick a time that works for me which is usually lunch time because people are usually online at lunch time anyway it's saturday is a good time because now people have just woken up and they're not functioning and they're ready to like just chill and find something to entertain themselves so one one o'clock worked for me so that's what I stuck to and then it just carried on from there once I got the hang of it, right? This point links into point number two. Batch film. Oh, the moment I discovered that you could do this. Oh. Guys, film at least two to three videos in one sitting. This guy's very annoying. He does this every hour. Anyways. Film more than two videos in one sitting, at least, like at least two videos, because that helps you when you have one of those days where you don't feel like filming, but you're now pressed to film because you need to keep consistent. So once you batch film, you know that you've got at least three or four videos at one go, you can just schedule them. So you know, okay, this weekend I don't feel like recording, but there's a video that's gonna go out still. So you just look organized. People will think you're filming every weekend, but mm, child, I just did like four or five videos in one day and here we go. So please, batch film, it will really help. Which links into point number three. I like this, I'm just linking things. Sound smart, don't I? Have a YouTube book, journal, notebook, whatever you call it. I call it my notebook. So this allows you to have your ideas written down so that when you're batch filming you know which film which which film which video i'm filming today what do i need also you can plan your resources 
timelines for the time of day you want to film because sometimes you're using natural light so you know i have to film in the morning or this time of day because like with me in the house i know the certain side of the house has got no light whatsoever in the morning but that same place at like two o'clock in the afternoon bright as hell so things like that once you've batch filmed batch filmed once you've content planned now I'm confusing the things. Once you've content planned, then you'll know, okay, for this video, we're going to be on this side. We're going to do this. We need these resources. And you look all organized. So, yes. Also, it helps you then just know where you want to take your channel. Because you have all your ideas written down. So you'll know maybe for this month, I'm going to be talking about this. For this month, I'm going to be talking about that. And it also now allows people to see some structure. And maybe know, ooh, okay, she does travel in the summer months and in the winter months she's more of you know in-house things we talk about food and how we're keeping ourselves safe and healthy you know what i mean so it just looks like it has some formal structure now then to point number five please don't let that subscribe account there make it go crazy because for a while it made me lose my mind you might find that sometimes you gain a whole lot of subscribers in one week and then for like a month you'll get no subscriber it will make you feel like you're doing nothing but you'll find that sometimes there's a lot of people who watch your channel but don't subscribe so don't always think that no one is watching or paying attention to your content just because your subscriber count is not going up you, it just might mean that you need to adjust how you're putting out your content maybe your videos are too long maybe they're too short or there's just something missing so you can get someone to help you look at it and maybe get a little few pointers from the people already your subscribers do a bit more call to action in your videos so that people can comment engage you know you'll find out maybe it's something that they just wanted more description or more videos it's possible so don't let the subscriber count kill you hey like it will grow when it's time to grow like it's hard to hear like even me saying it right now i'm like girl you know how difficult that is to just wait just you put out your content when it's time it's time which comes to the next point number seven comparison will hurt you like ooh, it will hurt don't compare yourself to anybody even if you have the same niche or you live in the same country or whatever don't do that it will just steal your joy of creating videos so for your own sanity focus on yourself like your channel the quality the sound the lighting whatever focus on you if you can improve it then improve it but don't feel stressed to improve because someone else has all this lighting and all of this no don't do that to yourself you will kill yourself for no apparent reason pace yourself and do what's working for you if your current setup is working just fine don't change it just because so and so big youtuber has a whole lighting studio Okay, but that's just money you're spending for no apparent reason. If you've got the money, then do so. But don't go out way out of your comfort zone just to be on the same level as someone else if you're not at that level of content producing. Do what works for you and stay sane, please. Which goes to point number eight. YouTube is a personal journey, okay? Which means it's about you, you and your channel and your brand and where you want to take the channel. Don't look at other lifestyle vloggers, other travel vlogs or whatever it is that your niche may be and think I need to be like them, I need to get where they are. It's good to have a goal and a target, yes, but you'll get there your own way. Which means you might find you start in business and you end up in travel. Or you might find you started off in beauty, now you're in lifestyle. You might even find you have a mix that nobody else has and it will work for you. You just focus on putting out the content that is authentic to you. That makes sense for you to produce because there's that thing that you just produce on YouTube that makes like you'll find videos coming out of you like water. Sometimes you'll find, oh my gosh, I can't film this video. You will do like six attempts. Once you see yourself doing that, you know that's not the content for you to be putting. Leave it alone. So do what works for you if you find that for a time you're gonna to have to take a break from youtube and be quiet do so 
if you think it's not authentic even though you filmed it it just doesn't sound like you it's okay not to upload it like guys we're human we're not robots and not all of us are performers like i said in my life update video i stopped producing videos for a while because it just didn't sound like me and i felt like it was not fair to my community that i'm trying to build up that i come on here and say yay i'm happy yeah yeah and i get off camera and i'm like Ugh. that was so hard like what is the reason it's not me let me not lie and pretend like i'm happy and whatever it's not going to work so do what works for you take care of your mental health take care of your health and just do what works for you and everything will fall into place if it's meant to be it's meant to be if you're not meant to be on youtube you're meant to be on youtube you'll find something else podcasting i don't know whatever it may be you might find you want to be behind the camera not in front of it so take your time it's okay we're not in a rush here and finally have fun like guys i actually enjoy making videos so i stopped because i had stopped enjoying it it was starting to feel like a job make sure you don't get to that point because if it starts to feel tedious and like a job ugh, it it just makes your videos look a bit off sometimes and people who pay attention to you will be like uh are you okay sis because it happened to me once or twice where someone goes your video was a bit uh are you okay like did you want to put that video out or so you see, sometimes it's just because the video is uncomfortable and you're talking about something you know needs to go on but you're a bit uncomfortable depending on what your niche is. But yes, remember to always have fun. Because when you have fun, people like watching people who have fun. So more people will come to your channel and you'll have more subscribers and you'll grow. And have an authentic community because also what you don't want is people subscribing today and then subscribing tomorrow. That messes up your algorithm and so many more things. So you'd rather just stay consistent with the people that are there so that they just stay on and become lifelong members and you grow. So I hope this video helped someone. And if you're starting YouTube, good luck. Feel free to give me a shout if you need any tips. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and become part of the family. Huh? And catch you later. Bye.